Now, the West adventurer David Hempelman Adams will set off for Canada in the next few days in the hope of creating a new world record. He's hoping to cross the Atlantic in a wicker basket hanging below the world's smallest gas-filled balloon. Patrick O'Hagan has more details. No bigger than a small hot air balloon but without the burner. The only control the pilot has over altitude is to vent helium or drop sand. This tiny balloon will be tricky to keep stable. If you throw over, for example, the laptop, which is just one pound in weight, I will probably go up a thousand feet. So it's very ultra sensitive. Now this is the equivalent of climbing Everest without oxygen. It's the purest form and this is absolutely on the limit of possibility. Low-tech ballooning it may be, but the tiny gas balloon will be being tracked constantly by satellite and it's packed with the latest computer guidance technology. The pilot won't be getting much sleep either. He's over six feet tall, so his wicker basket's too small for him to lie down during what's expected to be a four-day flight from Newfoundland to dry land somewhere in Western Europe. The Atlantic's a big place and trying to keep up with a little balloon, even if it's going at 20 knots, is very, very difficult. So if I do have to ditch... Um, I will put it on, um, I'll have an immersion suit, get into a life raft and uh, get picked up by the nearest boat. The adventurer from Box near Bath's used to cold climates and living life on the edge, having conquered both poles and climbed the highest mountains on every continent, including Everest. But this one's different, two and a half thousand miles of open water lie between him and dry land. It'll make walking on sea ice look easy. No burning fuel, it's purely sand. That's the great thing, helium is an inert gas, you get it out of the ground, um, it's just pure sand, so this is actually the purest form of travel. Green it may be, and that's surely what he'll be craving, the safety of the Irish coast and dry land. Patrick O'Hagan in London, for the West tonight. And we will be following David's adventures over the next few weeks as he takes off from Newfoundland. Hopefully, if all goes well, we'll be also bringing you exclusive pictures from the Wicker Basket film during the adventure.